Arcane Blast was first added to the game in the Burning Crusade to give Arcane Mages a reason to exist outside of Presence of Mind. In its first form, each cast of Arcane Blast would reduce its cast time and increase its mana cost. It would start off at around 2.5 second cast time and once the stacks reach their max, you would be casting a spell that hit almost as hard as a Pyroblast at 1.5 seconds. In BC, the rotation for Arcane Mages was to spam Arcane Blast until your mana couldn't take it anymore and then spam Frostbolt until your stacks fell off. When the 2 set T5 gear came out, Arcane Mages became a viable raiding spec in a day where not all specs could be used in raids. What the 2 set did was increase the damage of Arcane Blast by 20% while also increasing the mana cost of the spell by 20%. High level mages could just group up with a Shadow Priest and spam Arcane Blast the entire fight. Maybe throw in Arcane Missiles and a Scorch if needed. The 2 set bonus was so good that many raiders used it all the way through Sunwell. Then in early Wrath patches, the 2 set was changed to only give a 5% increased damage, and Arcane Blast itself was changed. In early Wrath, Arcane Blast was changed to increase the damage of your next Arcane spell by 15%, and increase the mana cost of Arcane Blast by 200%, stacking 3 times. This created a rotation similar to what we have in Mist, in that you would cast Arcane Blast 3 times and consume your stacks with an Arcane Barrage. The funny thing about this buff was that it was considered a harmful magical effect until patch 3.1 and could be dispelled by your healers. In Wrath Patch 3.2.2, the stacks were changed a little to go up to 4 and only increase the mana cost by 175% instead of 200%. This led to Arcane Mage's 2 bind rotation for the rest of the expansion where they just casted Arcane Blast until they got 4 stacks and used an Arcane Missile proc. Of course, if your gear was good enough and the fight was short enough, you could just spam Arcane Blast the whole time. In Cataclysm, they tried to change this 2-button rotation by adding a third button. You see, Cataclysm was when Master was introduced, and Arcane Mage's Master would increase their damage based on how much mana they had. At full mana, they did more damage than when at empty. Also, Arcane Blast was changed slightly. They incorporated the damage increase per stack from Wrath with a reduced cast time from BC, while also lowering the mana penalty to 150% mana from its 175% in Wrath. So, now each stack would increase damage by 10% and reduce the cast time by 0.1 seconds and increase the mana cost by 150%, stack it 4 times and could be consumed by an arcane spell besides arcane blast and arcane explosion, because they added arcane explosion to arcane blast stacks to give arcane mages AoE. With this new arcane blast and arcane mastery, the arcane rotation went a little something like this. Cast arcane blast non-stop until you're almost whom. Pop Evocate to get back to 100% mana, then conserve mana by going to 4 stacks and reset it with Arcane Missiles until Evocate came off cooldown. Just as a little side note on Arcane Mage's 1 button rotation, since nearly all the damage came from one spell, it made fights that required high bursts like Heroic Spine of Deathwing a lot easier to the point that it was often joked that unless you were a Mage, Rogue, or Shaman, you shouldn't be doing Spine on Heroic. Back when Dragon Soul was current tier, I was still raiding on two different heroic raid teams, and we got our first kill in heroic spine in both teams when I switched to my alt shaman to heal in place of my heroic geared priest, and when I switched to my alt arcane mage to DPS over my heroic geared hunter. In Mists, Blizzard decided they liked early Wrath's version of Arcane Blast the best, and changed Arcane Blast stacks to increase damage by 50% at an increase of 150% mana per stack, up to 4 stacks. And the only way to consume the stacks was by using an arcane barrage, a spell mostly abandoned at this point. And that's pretty much it as far as Arcane Blast is concerned. The changes in Mist to Arcane Blast also changed Arcane Missiles and Arcane Barrage in a big way, but this video is about Arcane Blast and not those other two spells. I also glossed over a lot of talent changes and spell power coefficients because I don't find that stuff interesting. If you think I missed anything major or super important, let me know in the comments. Seeing as I only put about 4 hours of research into this video, that's possible, but I generally catch everything.